In our last video, we saw how to create a transaction and sign it. In this video, we will learn how to verify the transaction. So the first thing that we need to verify the transaction is calculate Z, which is your signature hash. And we have already seen that when we sign the transaction. So let's go ahead and create a new function called verify transaction, verify input. And this function takes two arguments. First is your index of the transaction that you are verifying index and the second one is script public key to which public key the bitcoins are locked public key. So let's go ahead and uh, extract the object that we are verifying the transaction input based on the index that have been passed. input index so here we are extracting the input transaction input object that we are verifying so there can be multiple transaction inputs so we need to specify which transaction input we are verifying first there could be multiple so let's go ahead and extract that so once we have the transaction input we need z and we already have all the functions in place to calculate z so let's do self dot signature hash and it takes the input index and script public key until this step we know that the user has already signed the transaction so that means the signatures are already there in the transaction input so in the next step what we need to do is we need to combine the signatures with the script public key where your bitcoins are locked so let's go ahead and do combined transaction input dot script dot sig is where we have the signatures plus script public key so you might be wondering how can we add two objects here well we cannot but uh, we have an alternative approach to handle this so what we can do is we know that uh, this is a script object so we can override the add function here so let's go ahead and override the add function with our custom functionality so what we are going to do here is define add self and other and do return script script and do self dot cmds so ultimately we are adding commands not the objects and other dot cmds and cmds are your list and we can simply add by using the addition operation and that's exactly what we are doing here so we have added this so by doing this here let's go back to our transaction object now your normal addition operator is overrided by this function that we have implemented and it will add your commands okay let's go back and the next step is we need to evaluate the signature right so let's do return combined the combined script we have and do evaluate and z z is the main part to verify your signature so we need this and now we need to create a new function called evaluate inside the script right before coding the evaluate function let's understand how bitcoin network verifies your transaction bitcoin use something called stack based programming a stack is a very simple data structure which can be visualized as a stack of cards a stack allows two operations push and pop push adds an item on the top of the stack pop removes the top item from the stack so we just notice that we have combined our script signature with our script public key so the first item it will push on the stack is your signature and second it will push the public key and then we have the operation uh, which will duplicate your public key 
and next it will run the hash 160 on your public key and then we'll have the hash 160 so after we have the hash 160 so it will run the equal operations so to compare the first two items on the stack or the top two items on the stack and if the hash is equal so then we'll have only two items left on the stack the signature and the public key and then it will run the check signature function on top of these two items and if signature is valid the final output on the stack will be true and that's how it will verify the signature now let's go ahead and uh, encode all the functions that we need to verify the signature let's define the evaluate function inside the script module so to define evaluate it takes z as an input and for now let's pass this before creating the evaluate function we need to understand a little bit about the script public key and we have seen that we are locking the bitcoins in this script public key where this is our data element which represents your public key hash and these numbers which are in hexadecimal format these are tied to each operation code or the function for example the first one uh, this one is number 118 this is 169 this is 136 and this is 172 each one of these tags are tied to the operation code so let's go ahead and define the operation code first so inside the elliptic curve let's go ahead and define one more module op.py which is your operation codes so let's define op underscore code underscore functions equals to 169 uh, first we have 118 so 118 is to duplicate whatever you have it on the stack second one is 169 which is op underscore hash 160 so this will calculate the hash 160 and then we have 172 which is tied to this function op underscore check signature and there is one more 136 so let's add it in the sequence here 136 op underscore equal verify let's put this down and add them in proper alignment save it so now we are going to define the function definitions first let's define op underscore duplicate function so do define op underscore dup it takes stack as an input we'll go through what is stack but for now just implement this function first and check the length of the stack if it is less than one then return false because there is nothing on the stack to duplicate it so return false and next is how can we duplicate the element well it's, it's easy so we can simply do stack dot append whatever is the last element on the stack add it back which would be easy by using this list function and save it that's about our op underscore duplicate function so it will duplicate the last element on your stack and the next one is hash 160 so let's define hash 160 define op underscore hash 160 stack and check if length of the stack is less than one so that means there is nothing there on the stack so we cannot calculate anything and return false 
if there is an element so then pop the last element from the stack so do element stack dot pop and then we can run the hash 160 function we already have our hash 160 function we just need to import it here from our util module so let's go ahead and do that from blockchain dot backend dot util dot util import hash 160 save it and now let's use that function to calculate the hash 160 which is h160 equals to hash 160 and element that we just picked up from the stack then append it back on the stack for further calculation and h160 and return true the next function that we are going to implement is equal verify so let's see that define equal verify again it takes stack as an input and do pass here we need to implement two more functions before we can make use of this function so let's define op underscore equal and again stack is common in all these functions I said a space here and do if length of the stack is less than 2 since we are performing the equal operation so we are expecting at least two elements on the stack if we don't have two elements so that means we cannot perform this function and return false and then extract those two elements from the stack and use element one equals to stack dot pop so it will pop the last element from the stack copy this enter and replace this with element 2 and this will extract the second last element from the stack and then we can just perform the comparison between those two elements if both are equal then append one on the stack otherwise zero so do if element one equals to element two stack dot append one else stack dot append zero and return true save it and one more function we need which is op verify which takes stack as an input and again we are checking the same thing if length of the stack is less than one so that means there is nothing to do and return false if there is something on the stack then get the last element from the stack stack dot pop and if element is equals to zero which means the last operation was not success because in order if this operation is successful we will always have one on operation is successful we will always have one on the stack 
if we have zero that means operation failed so return false if it is not equals to zero that means our operation was successful and return true and now we can use these functions here simply do return op equal stack and op verify stack save it now one last function that we need to implement is check signature and this is the main function where we'll verify the signatures so let's define this function op underscore check sig and this takes tag as an in input and z which is our signature hash so we need at least two elements on the stack to perform this operation so let's verify the length on the stack if length on the stack is less than two then return false which means we don't have the required elements on the stack return false if we have the elements and the first element on the stack is our public key public key so let's fetch it from the stack by using the pop operation and the second one is our der signature signature equals to stack dot pop and we are excluding the last part from the signature if you recall we added the hash type so let's go back and see that here when we signed our input we added the sig all hash type which is of one byte here so in order to perform this operation we don't need this we just need the signature so we are leaving it out of it and we have the signature here and now we need to import the main functions from the elliptic curve to verify the signature so let's go ahead and import them and the first one is let's do import here from blockchain dot blockchain dot backend dot core dot elliptic curve elliptic curve import sha256 point and signature save them go back to our function here do this in try and accept block and to point equals to sha256 point dot parse and parse our public key scc underscore public key and also parse our signature so signature equals to signature signature dot parse and parser signature der underscore signature and if there are any errors so accept exception as e and return false so let's do if point dot verify verify is the function inside sha 250 so z signature if it is valid we will add one to the stack append one and return true
and if signature is not valid add zero on the stack stack dot append and return false and that's pretty much about the check signature function so we have all the functions ready uh, there is still one error I can see so let's see what that error is okay so it's not underscore so let's change it to check signature and save okay now we don't have any error here and now let's go back to our script module and implement the evaluate function this whole implementation is to verify the pay to public key hash there are many other type of signatures that we have like pay to script hash segwit and uh, many more but since we are using the pay to public key hash so that's the reason we have implemented the functionality just for pay to public key hash verification but uh, most of the things are the same in the actual bitcoin network okay now let's implement the logic to push the items on the stack and uh, run the operations to verify the signature do commands equals to self dot cmd and return everything that we have create new list stack which is empty and do while length of commands is greater than zero cmd equals to cmd's dot pop zero so it will fetch the first opcode which is this one from the stack which is 118 and we are checking the type if type of the command is int so that means it's a opcode and if you remember we already have stored all the function definitions inside this so now we can import this from op.py so let's do from blockchain dot backend dot elliptic dot core dot elliptic curve dot elliptic curve import well it's not inside the elliptic curve op import this save it and come back to our evaluate function and let's fetch the operation based on the command number operations equals to op underscore code and so we know the first operation is 118 which is to duplicate the element whatever is there on the stack and 118 has the corresponding function definition here so we will have this function to run so now go back to stack so all the functions will work like this and let's do the last thing if it is not an integer then we should simply add it in the stack which is which means it's a data element so do else stack dot append cmd so if you look at our script so we have the opcodes and the data elements and if it is a data element then directly add it on the stack but if it is a numeric or the opcode then we need to run some kind of operations that we have already defined under op underscore pi and next step is run those operations here 
but there is something special about the check signature function so we need to handle that little differently so to if cmd equals to 172 if not operation which takes stack and z as an input so if there is any error then print it error in signature verification and return false if it is any other operation which takes just stack as input then we don't have to do anything then simply copy and run this here and remove z from the parameters let's add one more space here and that's pretty much we are done with this now let's understand what exactly we did here go back to your transaction module and we are adding our script signature with our script public key which means we have two more data elements first one is our public key and the second one is our signature and plus the script public key with the opcodes so which means we will have the three data elements and these opcodes to verify the signature don't worry if you have not understood everything about signature verification it will make more sense once we will debug the code i'll show you each and every element how it works and how the signature verification and the transaction signing works and one last thing if everything is okay so we need to return true so let's implement it return true and save it and that's pretty much with the evaluate function the next video session we will learn how to create the mempool where we can push the transactions and miner will pick up the transaction from mempool and add it in a block.